What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. So Noble's getting a buff. Um, I was really pumped when I heard about this because I misread it and I thought it was Gamoran that was getting a buff. Uh, so my Gamoran is fully awakened, not by choice by the way. Um, you know, I got unlucky or very unlucky and pulled a 6R for him. And I even dropped books into him as well. Uh, Gamoran is still awful. Um, he needs a buff probably more than Noble because his kit is just all over the place. But it's not about Gamoran today. It's all about Mr. Noble. So let's uh, let's try and find him. And of course, of course he's in the reserve vault. So let's bring up uh, Noble. So um, I do like the way he looks. Like, this is going to sound weird, but he's got really nice legs. I really like sort of um, the artwork on his shin pads. And he's got these MC Hammer pants. Uh, really, really like the look. His face, though, his face needs a buff as well. He looks horrific. He's got snakes coming out of his eyes. He is not having a good day. Um, but yeah, let's uh, check out his kit and then see if he's going to go from being sort of, well, he is trash, from trash to maybe usable or even god tier. So he's a champion completely built around sort of like fear and turn meter manipulation. He's an attack champion, so he should be a new car. He's not a support champion um, but the problem being built around fear is that you can't use fear on bosses so that means he's pretty much just for wave control so if you're sort of progressing in the game he would be good for getting through waves to help you get to the boss but when you're actually at the boss he's gonna do nudder um, I guess the other thing is the doom tower and with this buff he might become really good for doom tower because doom tower you know clearing those waves can be hard and if Noble can do that, at least that's one thing he's ticking. So if he's not been that helpful in PvE, it means that he's just going to be used for PvP. So Arena Nuka Champion. So his passive, Desolation. Um, whenever an enemy's turn meter is fully depleted by any champion, he has a 100% chance when fully booked of placing True Fear debuff for one turn. That's pretty nasty. But the problem with this is obviously with stone skin being everywhere in the meta, it makes it pretty redundant. So you're going to need someone that strips to get rid of that stone skin. And then you're going to need someone to come in with that turn meter control. That is not very easy to do. So uh, his A3, Dismay. Uh, so it's on a three turn cooldown, attacks all enemies and has a 100% chance when fully booked um, of decreasing each enemy's turn meter by 50%. That's nice. I like it. So we're pushing back turn meter and that pairs up with his with his passive. So but the problem with this though is that that means then you're going to have to drop some attack for um, accuracy and that's not great. No, no one wants to, you know, um, drop accuracy on their nukas. So that's a little uh, drop attack for accuracy on their nukas. Um, so yeah, 50%. But that is a nice pushback though. 50%. That's pretty huge. Um, if there's any enemy under fear or true fear, um, we'll also fill this turn by the amount the enemy loses. Nice. So if you just do that for two people, that's a hundred percent turn meter that you can steal if they're under fear. I guess it's something that you'd have to test because if you think about your push, if you push back the turn meter, then you land the fear as well. Are you, does that count? Does that count as you getting to steal that turn meter? I'm not sure. I don't know if the term, uh, the fear needs to be there first and then you push back the turn meter or if you can push it back with the fear triggering and then it counts. I don't know. So his A2, Harbringer, attacks one enemy, will ignore 30% of the target's defense. Nice, I like it. That means it will be a good smack, especially if you've got Savage on him. Uh, we'll fill this champion's turn meter by 25% after the attack. So again, he's going to be pushing his own turn meter. And this is on a two turn cooldown. That's very low. Um, again, if the target is under fear or true fear, um, decreases the target um, cooldown of dismay by one turn. So that, I guess what you want to do then is basically you're always going to want to open with the A3. Um, and this will drop this from a three turn cooldown to a two turn cooldown once you hit with Harbringer. So it means you can sort of cycle around really, really quick. Um, but I guess there's, there are issues with this, um, you know, like block debuffs, cleansers are going to be able to deal with all this pretty easily. And 
there's something else going for my brain and I've completely forgotten what it is. So let's just carry on. Um, his A1 smells fear. Attacks one enemy has a 40% chance, books up to 50 chance of decreasing the duration of two random uh, buffs on the type by one term. If the target is under fear or true fear, debuff has a 75% chance of decreasing the duration of all of the target's buffs by one turn instead. So it's okay for an A1. Um, I mean, it's, for an A1, it's kind of strong, but because it's only one turn and I guess like the buffs that, that I'd be concerned about are block debuff and stone skin because they are the strongest ones in the game. It means that there's probably a very good chance you're not going to be doing that. And again, you're going to need accuracy for this. So yeah, you're definitely going to need to bring in a stripper for him. So let's look at his, the buffs. So we'll start with the A1. So his A1, what is going on here? So his A1 will now decrease the duration of all enemy buffs with a 100% chance if the target is under fear or true fear. Okay, so it doesn't say if it's still one turn or not. Um, so let's just see if there's anything else here. Tax one enemy has a 40% chance of decreasing too many buffs. Okay, so yeah, it's still just gonna be that one turn. It's kind of nice, but it's not it's not good enough in my opinion, really. Uh, Harboringer. So Noble's A2 will not only smack harder, but will also grant him an increased attack buff if the target is under true fear or fear. So attacks one enemy will ignore yeah, 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 yeah. Before attacking, if the target, so they've got to have that fear on them for us to place that increased attack buff on himself for two turns. And then after attacking, if the target is, yeah, so it's still the same. Okay, so it's a small buff to the A2. I wouldn't say it's game changing. It's nice to get the increased attack. Um, if you, because obviously you have to bring all these other champions in. So yeah, kind of silly, really. And let's see, next on the list, A3 now steals 50% of the target's meter unconditionally. So always going to be stealing that term meter. That's nice. And if he does kill the target, the cooldown is A2 is reduced by one term. So that's, a, that's crazy. That's like a one turn. That is pretty nice. But I guess the promise is that you're always going to open up with the A3. Um, and then you'd use the A2. So if the A2 is already getting like a reset, you're kind of missing it. So it doesn't really make sense. So yeah, that doesn't really, doesn't really add up or, or benefit you really. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly read, see if it does anything else. No, that's all it's doing. Um, and his passive. Attacks one enemy has a 40% chance. No, sorry. He tweaked, we've, we've tweaked his passive to become more, much more dangerous when Noble is paired with another term meter ch control champion. Now he'll place fear buff debuff on enemy with a 20% chance if their term meter is reduced by an active term meter reduction. When paired with Lady Kimmy, Su Shen, or another champion with AoE term meter reduction effects, you can now set up some pretty nasty opportunities for nukers like Fortus, or simply keep the enemy constantly under control with fear debuff. So just reading it again, whenever an enemy's tummy is reduced by any champion has a 20% chance of placing fear. I just don't understand. Wait, whenever it's, oh, so it's fully depleted before. Okay. Yeah. So. That, yeah, that is really stupid, actually. The chances of getting, like, fully, fully, I, I, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't clock that. So, yeah, fully depleted is a big difference. I thought it was just if there was Termitier manipulation involved. But, yeah, if it's fully depleted, that, yeah, because then you'd have to build loads of speed on him, accuracy, because you want to sort of go way, way faster. So, yeah, so that's a small buff. Do I really think it's going to be enough for him to be, in the meta, usable? No, not really. Um, I think he's going to go from being trash to being very mediocre. 
Um, I still can't really see him getting much play time. He's going to be a real niche pick, a uh, pocket, pocket pick, pick pocket, pocket pick, one or the other. Um, but yeah, he's. I just feel like he's not going to be that usable. Um, I guess if you paired him up with someone like Armands, then he could be like a real boss because obviously he's doing that full meter uh, depletion. Lissandra as well. Um, but yeah, he's really. I don't think he's going to be. That's not going to be enough. I feel like they they've given him a buff, but it's more of his kit. His kit needs more of a rework for me. Um, there's definitely there's things that are missing that are going to make him do what he needs to do. Like he's an arena new car. First of all, he needs to hit hard. Like it's nice that his skills are on like low cooldowns, but it's the fear. He's not going to be getting that fear out. Polymorph is still a thing. So he could get sheeped as well. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's not going to be good enough. Um, and again, you're going to need someone to strip for you. So you can get rid of um, that pot with get rid of, you know, stone skin. And he's not going to be good in a feral set because, you know, again, stone skin. Um, but yeah, I just feel like he's not he's not going to be the game changing arena nuka that we want him to be. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Smash or smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.